Nigel Stanwyck, BBC World News. We go back to Hollywood for another press conference with Sheryl Crow. Boom. The BBC fully endorses her importance has grown significantly since the last report. Thank you, Nigel. We are here at Cheryl Crow's Endangered Species Petting Zoo. The environmental prophet will be giving a speech about something the BBC will certainly endorse. Can you give us the mood at the press conference? Is there an air of excitement and anticipation to be in the grace of this major celebrity? Has anyone fainted? Nigel, the mood here is very festive. Almost like the Queen or Pope were to arrive. No one has fainted yet. There is medical personnel standing by. Because it is likely to happen. Have you seen any other major celebrities there? Like Mike Farrell or Ed Buckley, Junior Experts, the BBC fully endorses also. Nigel, actually, Ed Bagley Jr. gave me a ride to this important press conference on his bicycle, something the BBC fully endorses. Cheryl Crow has arrived. She is ready to speak. This is Cheryl Crow and I am trying to save the environment. I am proud to say that toilet paper is no longer part of my life. And because I am a major celebrity, others have joined the cause. A big movement has happened in my bathroom and has been spread all over the world. I can almost hear a sigh of relief as this terrible load was been relieved from me personally and the environment. I want to hold hands with everyone who has joined me in this fight. We can get through this together. Let us show this thing who is boss. If we have to, we will struggle day and night. I would also like to acknowledge the effort by another important celebrity, Rosie O'Donnell. While she could not kick the habit completely, she courageously went from three rolls to one roll a day. At this time, I would like to take questions from my friends in the media, like the reporter from the BBC, because they fully endorse me. Ms. Crow, the BBC fully endorses your efforts to save the world. I am sure your loyal subjects have one question. What do you use instead of toilet paper? How do you clean yourself? I have developed a technique called the scoop and fling method. Even as hairy as Rosie O'Donnell is, she was able to have a two-thirds reduction in toilet paper. The BBC fully endorses a scoop and fling technique. It begs the question though, where do you fling? Is there a special place? Fellow important celebrity, Martha Stewart and I have developed decorative fling cozies that can be placed throughout the mansion, private jet or Prius. You recently broke a brick long time ago. Lance Armstrong, can you give any reasons why this happened? Will you get back together? I felt Lance could not stand behind me. I hope someday, he can dig deep, knuckle down and return to me. It is nice when someone has your back. Thank you and goodbye. We have it. One of the most important celebrities of all time has told you how to live your life. The BBC fully endorses this. We now go to Lance Armstrong on satellite. Welcome Lance, the question on everyone's mind is, do you know Ed Buckley Jr? He like you is an important celebrity who rides a bicycle. Of course I know Ed Bagley Jr. We are both bikers, and we belong to the ultra-exclusive club, super important celebrity activists who tell people how to run their lives incorporated. Tell me about Sheryl Crow, the reasons for your breakup, will you get back together with the most influential and endorsed celebrity ever toward the earth? As the seven time winner of the Tour de France, I know a lot about skid marks, I will not be outdone by a woman, besides, there were times I was caught in the crossfire as she was flinging. 
The BBC does not endorse Lance Armstrong or toilet paper. We fully endorse important celebrities. Sheryl Crow, Martha Stewart, Rosie O'Donnell, and Ed Buckley Jr. Be sure to watch BBC World News for important celebrity press conferences. I am Nigel Stanwyck. Now, back to the regularly scheduled program. This copywritten video was written, directed, and produced by Mike at M H P G C A, intended solely as a parody 